Spoiler warning, this video will contain spoilers for Blue Beetle, so if you haven't seen the film, then click away and come back once you've watched it. But if you have seen it, or you just don't care about spoilers, then enjoy. Yo, what's up, Brickstreet fans? It's Adam here for the Brickstreet Boy, back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at my brand new custom showcase from Blue Beetle. Now, I just managed to watch the film yesterday, and it was everything I expected it to be. Like, just... Just the family dynamic was just nailed, loved the action scenes, and of course Shola Maradwanya yeah, killed it in the role of Jaime. Just absolutely loved it. Probably the best, one of the best DC films of the year, if not the best. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into it, starting with our first minifigure, Blue Beetle. Here is Blue Beetle aka Jaime Reyes. I've made a couple of iterations of this figure in the past, but I think I've perfected the design. So the head... and the head is um, Hudson Harper's from Jurassic World. The hair is Ulysses Cloud and Black Panther. That torso is Mighty Micro's Nightwing turned backwards. The arms and legs are Sinestro's from the sec from the DCCMF series. Then I gave him some black hands. And then for his neck attachment, I used the Outriders neck attachment. Some of these um claw, some of these um clip pieces with the uh, with some black horns. And then his accessory is from the Iron Man 2 armory set to represent his blades. I actually got the idea from Star Arc, so props to him. That brings us on to my next minifigure, Jenny Cord. Here is Jenny Cord, Jaime's love interest. Her hair is America Chavez's, and then her face is raised from Star Wars. That also is Mary and Ravenwood's from Indiana Jones. And then I got her legs from Harry Potter in the second Harry Potter CMF series. So yeah, that brings us on to my next minifigure, Conrad Carapax. So for Conrad Carapax, I'm not particularly happy with this design, but it's the best I could have done. The hair is Finn's from Star Wars, and his head is Thor and Oaken Shields from The Hobbit. That torso is Iron Man Mark 85's but turned backwards, then his arms are Din Djarin's from The Mandalorian with some gunmetal grey hands, then his legs are Iron Man's from The Quinjet, then his neck attachment is from that same Iron Man figure, and then I built him his accessory using using two one by one stud in one with transparent red, one dark red, uh, one by one round brick in trans red, and then one of these pieces, I don't remember the name. So yeah, that brings us on to our next minifigure, Uncle Rudy. Here is Uncle Rudy, who hands down was the f one of the funniest characters in the whole film. I just, <laughs> he just lit up the whole film, I swear. But anyways, his hair is Loki's from either the Avengers Quinjet or the first Marvel CMF series. The head and torso are Franklin Webb's from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Then I gave him Jar Jar Binks arms. And then his legs are Mars Morales's from the Mech or the Daily Bugle. So you get that grey on top and black on bottom. That brings us on to our next minifigure, Mila Gares. Here is Mila Gares, who is also a really funny character in my opinion. Her hair is from the CMF Series 15 Jewel Thief, though it might come in other places. That face is from the Harry Potter Hogwarts Magical Trunk. That torso is Maisie Lockwood from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, though with some medium nougat hands. And then the legs are just some um, dark blue mid-sized ones. So yeah, that brings us on to our next minifigure, Mrs. Rays. Here is Mrs. Rays, who I'm not going to lie, is kind of a throwaway figure in the showcase. Her hair is from 2010 Hermione, and then that face and hands are Cho Chang's from the first Harry Potter CMF series. That torso is Luna Lovegood's from Harry Potter's CM second CMF series, and then those legs are just some plain black ones. So yeah, that brings us on to our next minifigure, Mr. Reyes. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I did not expect this character to die. Like, to kill off a member of his family so early was just a bit shocking in my opinion, but yeah, his figure is pretty easy to build. That hair is is Sinister Strangers from the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. The face and hands are from Wong. That torso is from Harry Potter in the Private Drive set or Ned Leeds from Spider-Man Far From Home and then just throws the black legs. So yeah, that brings us on to our next minifigure, Jaime's grandma. Jaime's grandma. Her hair is from, a, is from a Lego City grandma. Then that face is from the female Stormtrooper from the mech set. That torso is... um. Petunia Dursley's from the Privet Drive set with some medium nougat hands and there's some dark blue legs. So yeah, that brings us on to our next minifigure, Victoria Cord. Concluding today's showcase is Victoria Cord. Her hair is from Hermione in Harry Potter. That face is from Mantis. That torso is from the Lego City line with some flesh coloured hands and then finished off with some grey legs. So yeah, that is the end of my Blue Beetle showcase. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more awesome LEGO videos. Goodbye.